So as before, i like you to build on the decimal sheet that you already have. So I'm going to close this one here. I'm going to open the next one here for ice cream cones and coffee here. I'm going to turn this one off in just a moment, but I want to point out that for the graphs that you did so far, the data, as you put regression curves to them, the data don't look perfect. You probably already noticed that. Not like in physics where you have a very strong, forward relationship between the independent variable and then the dependent variable. So this is, these are examples for everyday life which are more complicated than the physics that I showed you. There are way more variables involved here. So you will see for quite a few of these here that yeah, the data are not going to be perfect and they're not expected to be perfect unlike in physics. So anyway, let me turn these off here. H versus height from the previous one and here ice cream cones and coffee. So what I have here, these are two unrelated examples they're both now from the again from that statistics textbook from OpenStax so here a shop owner uses straight line regression and by the way the this one here is posted here in page if, if you are downloading that whole book there PDF for free that's where it would be otherwise it's table 12.5 respectively subject 12.3 that's where I'm in so shop owner uses straight line regression oh they actually give it away straight line regression to estimate the number of ice cream cones that would be sold and so on and when you look at these numbers here apparently these are not an order here temperature they probably measured it one day after another and the temperature fluctuated of course but when you put them in order you can I believe see that for low temperatures here like in the 60s they didn't sell that many ice cream cones but for high temperatures like 85 or so wow, 240 sold here so these data kind of make sense right by the way I do challenge you on the other hand to actually find a source or citation for these data or perhaps they're made up or perhaps they did ask an ice cream vendor to keep track of that and you know for their books they might have done that actually so again I'm a little bit of a challenge to actually find a source or citation and just a little warning I didn't personally look for it myself and you might not find something so these data could be possibly made up again a little challenge for you the coffee data by the way here these were the coffee data here the following table shows that on average per cafe capita coffee consumption and the heart disease rate in the random sample of 10 countries again Try to find a citation or source for that. A little bit of a challenge, right? What intrigues me is the word random sample of 10 countries. Which 10 countries? Also, by the way, kind of ignore these questions here. Ignore these questions that they have perhaps here. Oh, I guess they didn't. Because I posted my own questions. All right, so let's go over here. And let's plug in some data. This here would be for the ice cream cones and I'm gonna do this one here x3 because this is the third project within this unit here so y3 and then again the coffee is unrelated to that so it's a different example so I'm gonna start a new table and I'm not gonna call it 4 or anything else I'm gonna call it 33 instead and then 33 there we go let's me do a few data here so 70 85 60 70 85, 60, is that what it was? 70, 85, 60. There we go. Gosh, 65. Gosh, I, I have such a bad short-term memory. What I really should do is put these on the side just for myself. I'm trying. Seriously, I'm trying, actually. So, and then I just copy it from there. So, let's see, this would be 100. 105 and this would be 240 and then this would be your 49 being sold and then oh I actually have to highlight this one I'm gonna highlight this one oh that highlights itself here there we go I can click on that little plus sign and there are the few first few data and they kind of gave it away that saying hey try it straight line right so I'm gonna have y3 is proportional to m times x3 plus B and there we can see that right Ooh, I should ask actually this question what's the significance of this one here going through zero <laughs> I'm gonna give it away it's it's too cold <laughs> below 60 degrees 
the vendor is not going to sell anything. <laughs> you know, that's what that that's what this zero here would mean. Just saying. Okay, so that would be here for the ice cream. And again, they already gave it away. That should be a straight line. So let me look at the coffee here. And I'm going to put in here. So yearly coffee consumption in liters, 2.5. And then for the next country, 3.9 liters per year. And then for the next country, 2.9 liters per year. And by the way, I beat them all. I drink so much coffee. And then here, death from heart diseases in this table here. And that's what it says here on this table. 221, 167, 131. And of course, more data, which I like to input. And 160. 7 and 131 and so on and if I click on that little plus sign here then here oh that <laughs> looks more like a triangle right but you will see that there is a little bit of a pattern but you will also get kind of like a quite some scattered data here and it actually it does say here in these instructions that I said earlier you know I have my own instructions here but I would recommend that you try a regression line so a straight line on that not a curve you will see that that works better if anything but a yeah curve so you should also try this one here y 33 proportional to m times x 33 plus e yes i did notice that i hit the wrong key there that should be proportional and yeah with this triangle it doesn't make sense but you will see that there will be yeah more data here will make for a certain straight line and again try to make sense of the data do that make sense for example actually you will see that the death from heart diseases goes down the more people are consuming coffee and does that from a medical point of view make sense so i like you to ponder those kinds of questions and then of course as i mentioned earlier what does this mean, random sample of 10 countries? All right, so that's this project.